Zero one eight here, Donkey Stomper. And Freckles. Hi, buddy. All right, guys. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. Hit that subscribe button down in the corner. You can set that little Donkey Stomper icon. Hoover over it, click subscribe. We need your subscription. All right, guys. First off, I'd like to invite you all to join us on Patreon or our YouTube channel member. Either one or combine the same. Monthly giveaways, perks, discounts, all that good stuff. Next giveaway is January 11th. All right, guys. We've got an 800 high drive HGA pills, side and bias, CW transmission, true on and off thermal protection. So this thing is biased. Just got the on and off and the side band. All right. Some of you guys have been asking about thermal protection. Won't know what it is. They don't understand. I mean, the true on and off don't know what it is. What it is is your when you turn your box off, the transistors lose power. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed if I can. Maybe I won't burn nothing down. So I uh, let's see. Hit the ground. Get it hot. Burn the hands. Right now I got the voltage on low, so we got 1270. Okay. Turn it off. You lose your voltage. No voltage on your transistors. Turn it back on. 12.71. All right. But the reason for that is, is because, like, I don't know if anybody's ever had an HG box oscillate. They'll know why I did this. If the box starts oscillating for some unknown reason, it sticks up and your receiver will come back. Just click it off. Kills the power to the transistors. And when it kills the power to the transistors, your box don't burn down. You burn all your transistors and everything up. So most of the time, the on off switch just turns the relay off and on. The key relay. This is actually a true relay on and off. And you see how it hooks up. So what it does, it actually turns the power off the amplifier. Now, here's the cool part about it. I still got the remote jack, which I've been thinking about. I may quit putting remote jacks in unless they're requested. So in the future, if you want a remote jack, you might have to tell me to add it in because I've actually got a price separate. I may quit putting them in all together, but until somebody, you know, until you ask for it, it's a feature, add-on feature. But their boat on and off is going to be standard. I mean, the relay on and off, I'm sorry. Now, here's how this works, thermal protection. If this unit gets hot, okay, this relay will shut off. And when it does, all the power on the treasures will shut off. And it'll take about 20 or 30 minutes to come back. Let it cool down, turn it off and on again, and it come back and go back to working normal. Same thing as remote jack, does the same thing. The reason for that is, let's say you go in the house or whatever, you pull in the driveway, let's say somebody's in there talking on the base. And they key up and turn your box on, you forget to turn your box off. They key up, and this thing keys up in isolation on its own, starts getting hot. When it does, the thermal protection kicks off this relay. Kills the part of the transistors, your box don't melt down. So it's safer for your car, safer on your transistors. It's just, just, just something I come up with and I love it. It's a cool idea. It's, it's safer all the way around. Plus, on top of that, 300 amp by 8L fuse. Now some people say, oh, you don't need a fuse on the box, you need it on your battery. Well, this is for the people that don't put it on the battery, okay? If you want to take this fuse and put it up on your battery and hook your box direct up, that's cool. I mean, that's the way it should be done, but this is just extra safety. That way I know nothing in my box to tear up your car or savior, cause any grief, or at least I'm trying to do everything I can to make them as safe as possible. So, relay on and off, thermal protection, plus a fuse is what we'll put in all the donkey stones from now on. So let me turn this thing off. Let me, I'll stop this video right here. And let me put the covers on this and come back and we'll do a review. I'll be all right, right, guys, we're back. First off, let's talk about warranties. From here on out, guys, this year, 2024, if that sticker's broke, there's nothing to talk about. Warranties, no and void. I don't care what the excuse is or why you open. If it's been opened, warranty's gone. After 30 days, warranty's gone. Here lately, I've tried to, uh, I had one guy that had a box that was nine months old. I ain't gonna call his name. And I warranted it for him, and he still had trouble with it. You know, long story short, I don't want to get into it too much. But uh, ended up, he still wasn't happy or whatever, and he wouldn't let me help him. So, in 30 days, label broke. Either one of them, warranty void, 
and the warranty is not transistors, just on parts, labor, and my work. The warranty is on my work, not the transistors in the box. So from here on out, 30 days, that seal's broke, the warranty's gone. Every time I let it slip, what I'm trying to get at is people took the slid off and stuff, and I went ahead and warranted them, or uh, I waited the warranty one is four months old because I was in the hospital, or six months old because I was sick or whatever, and didn't get to use it. All them excuses is over. No more. We're done with that. I'm keeping records of when it's sold, when it's built, 30 days from the time it's built. The, uh, if it's, if after 30 days, once it's over, it's labeled broke once it's over. I'm not Walmart. I'm not Burger King. I can't do it your way. I've got to do it a certain way to stay in business. And every time I end up stretching the rules for somebody, it ends up biting me in the butt anyway. Still ends up with problems, so no more. I ain't waiting on six, eight, nine months and then maybe warranty a box. That's over. Alrighty, guys. That being said, we'll start looking straight through SWR. Hello, worldwide. Get on down. Here's our drive, one, two, one, two. All right. In for the SWR, one, two, one, two, one, two. You see, it's pretty good shape. All right. Here's our eight field, one, two, three, radio drive, radio drive, radio drive, radio drive, it's alive. All right, we're gonna stick our two pill into it. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, we're in the 196 drive, one, two, one, two. Two pill looking like it might be a little bit weaker. Hello, let's we'll see. Our voltage is over, we're holding 14, one, okay. Anyway, that's just on the regular old pyramid power supply two pills. See what she does. Hello, Whitefield. 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 All right, we're gonna go back. Curiosity, let's go to car vault. So you can see what we'll do is in the car. We're gonna go down to 14.2. Of course, it's gonna lose quite a bit, I'm sure. 14, 3, 7, 1, 2, I to go down to 14.2 on the key, I guess. Hello, 1, 2, 1, 2, worldwide, car vaults, car vaults, car vaults, car vaults, car vaults, car vaults, Worldwide car vaults, car vaults, car vaults, car vaults, getting on down, getting on down. So, as you can see, it just don't kick off. You gotta beat it, 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 beat it. I can't make it kick off, probably on the bench with the fan on. But, uh, Curiosity, we'll throw the old striker into it, hit it a little harder. On car bolts, I guess we can do it. I didn't do it on high voltage. That's what striker does. Hello, add a little more drive, add a little more drive, add a little more drive on my striker. Just for Curiosity, let's turn the bolts back up. My striker's not even a hot one. Let's see what the striker does. Let's see what the striker does. Striker and two fields, striker and two fields, striker and two fields. So she comes on up with a little more drive. Of course, we lost our average power because strikers don't do shit for average. But hello, worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. Working my little eight field donkey stone for getting old. Damn. So there she is, guys. She's all up and ready to go. Um, we're fixing up. Guys, I know we got a couple more repairs over here that y'all waiting on. There's a 10 pill over here, a 16 pill, a couple repairs. We're gonna try to get you worked in the next little bit. Uh, got a tracker radio over here. Just a couple of things we gotta do. We'll try to work in and uh, we do have a bunch of bills coming up. We got a two by six, I know next, C box with side and bias staged. Uh, we've got some four pill bays, a two pill mobile, Several different builds coming up. They're in line of the order they come in. And we we'll even got a 64 pill mobile coming up. So, guys, I just wanted to see what we what was going down there. And uh, yeah, we still got the Fat Boy 32 pill up there for sales, like new with C box. Anybody needs it? All right, guys. Please take time to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the little button and says subscribe. Come on over and Patreon and join our Patreon, www.patreon.com. Don't get over products. Or join our YouTube channel. Check out our merch store. 
All right, guys, you take care. I hope y'all have a happy new year. Your friend intends to do what I Donkey Stomper. Bye-bye.